Hello friends, welcome to Bricks Embedded System Tutorial. I am Rajiv and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to set fuse widths of your microcontroller using Sina Pro. So to start with you must have Sina Pro. Open the folder and run Sina Pro. Uh, in Sina Pro first window you will see that uh, there are some section like hex file section, flash section, EEPROM section, device section, fusion section, programmer section. So to set fuse width actually you need to take care of lower three section device, fuses, programmer. So from here you need to select the proper programmer which you are using. Here using this search button just click on search button so that uh, it should give search ok. Uh, and uh, the microcontroller which is connected to your uh, computer will be shown here. Now this is the section from where you can set the fuse width thing. So the most important thing which we need to set using fuse width section is the frequency of microcontroller. So for that purpose, uh, Sina Pro is providing some special facility like from here only you can select which frequency you want to run your microcontroller on. Like uh, uh, if you will purchase a new microcontroller, it will uh, run at 1 megahertz. But in case you want to run it at 4 megahertz, just select 4 megahertz and click on program button. So now your program, uh, microcontroller will start running at 4 MHz. Similarly, if you want to run it at 8 MHz, just click on program and it will start running at 8 MHz. Now, there is an option for external crystal oscillator. So uh, whenever you want to run it at crystal, external crystal oscillator, you, you just need to connect one crystal oscillator to your microcontroller and select this external crystal option and click on program but be careful if you haven't connected crystal oscillator and you set it to external crystal your microcontroller will stop working and to revert back to any other option you must connect one uh, crystal oscillator to your microcontroller otherwise uh, your microcontroller will become dead uh, right now I have already connected one crystal oscillator so uh, I can go to the external crystal oscillator like uh, here is the option if I will click on program it will uh, uh, still uh, running my uh, and uh, uh, my microcontroller is still running and uh, if I want I can revert back to the internal oscillator like uh, I was then going to 4 megahertz and uh, it's now running at 4 megahertz. Now there is a button called advanced so if you want to set more options other than uh, these uh, frequency thing, you can go to the advanced section. So click on advanced. Here you will see that there are fuses lock, called lock bits and high fuse, low fuse, external fuse. So using lock bits, you can lock your microcontroller. And using high fuse and low fuse, you can make changes in your microcontroller depending upon what feature you want to change. So let's see one by one. So let's start with high fuse. Here you can see that there are options for on-chip debug, JTAG interface, serial programming, EEPROM, pre preserve EEPROM through chip erase cycle, boot reset vector and uh, CKOPT fuse option. Now, uh, newly purchased microcontroller will have JTAG enabled and serial programmer enabled. So if you want to disable JTAG to use a 4 pin of C port as simple input output pin, you just need to disable it like this, click on OK and uh, write it. Now if you go to the low fuse, here you will find option for brownout detection and uh, for external or internal crystal oscillator. So here you will find multiple options which you can select and uh, do the needful whatever you want. But uh, you must be careful while selecting any option from here. If you want to choose the uh, frequency options, better is to use it from this window. Don't go to the advanced section. Advanced section is only useful for uh, disabling the JTAG interface. Now, be careful with the serial programmer downloading. As we are using this interface to communication between uh, computer and microcontroller, never disable this. If if you will disable it by mistake or intentionally, uh, the communication between computer and microcontroller will break. So after that, you will not be able to do anything uh, with your microcontroller. Uh, you will either need a parallel programmer or high voltage programmer to enable this uh, serial programmer or 
to communicate with your microcontroller so you you must be careful while using this section of your fuse bit settings so actually that's all with uh, the fuse bit setting uh, be careful with the serial programming interface never disable it and uh, also careful about the external crystal oscillator option you must select this option only if uh, you have a external crystal oscillator connected to your microcontroller so thank you for watching this tutorial please keep watching our tutorials to learn more about embedded system thank you